Hello, welcome to a special episode of James Bond and Friends. My name is James Page, standing host for James Bond from mi6hq.com and mi6 Confidential Magazine. This is a little bit of a festive special because I challenge some of the regular podcast members to come up with a cocktail recipe or a little twist on a famous cocktail recipe to celebrate the new year. Uh, what better time to start an experiment with a little cocktail making than New Year's Eve? So for me, I went back to 1915 Havana, because we're going to see Cuba again in No Time to Die. So I thought, the mojito's overdone. Let's go and do something a little bit classic. So I'm going to show you how to make the perfect El Presidente. All right, so here are the ingredients. You're going to need some Cuban rum. Uh, but if you live in a country that doesn't like communism, you're going to need a substitute. And this one is from Nicaragua, and it's available all across the U United States. It's the four-year rum don't bother with the eight it's more expensive uh, you got bills to pay you're not really going to notice the difference next up you'll have a bottle of this kicking around for your martinis probably it's lily blanc not dry not sweet but lily blanc um, cocktail historians have found that in 1915 this is what they had available to them in havana so this is the correct ingredient for this recipe unlike lily where it's usually substituted for something else this is what it should be and third up you're gonna need a good orange liqueur. Um, you can use any orange liqueur you like, just don't go with Grand Marnier because that's brandy based and it actually tastes a little bit different. This is one of my favorite ones. You can also make a really good carte blanche cocktail with this. So you can get some double duty out of it later. And finally, you need some grenadine, which if you're not aware, it's basically pomegranate simple syrup. You can sub simple syrup in here if you really, uh, if you're missing this, you just won't get the same color. Right, let's get started by pre-chilling our cocktail glass, a four or five ounce cocktail glass. We're going to stick some ice in there and let that chill off to the side while we build our drink in a glass. No shake required for this one. So we start with one bar spoon of grenadine. Uh, you can use a teaspoon, a good size teaspoon if you don't have a bar spoon. And two spoons of orange liqueur. And you can be a bit sloppy with this, a little bit extra is good, my personal preference. And you just pop that in the glass. Then we're going to measure out one full measure of rum. So that's one and a half ounces, or the, the big end of your jigger. And we pour that into our glass. Um, if you don't have Cuban rum or the substitute, um, any good light rum would work with this, but try and get that. Nicaraguan rum is really good. And the same of Lillet Blanc. Uh, so another one and a half ounce measure of Lillet Blanc. That goes in the glass. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with ice because what we need to do is bring this down to a really cold temperature and stir it for about a minute. Um, what we want to add is about three quarters of an ounce of dilution into this drink. So we're gonna speed this up a little bit, but you need to stir that for about a good minute um, before straining it into your cocktail glass. Um, I'm just using the regular strainer here. If you're so inclined, you can double strain it if you don't like those little ice shards going in the glass. I think it's nice, gives a little bit of a different mouthfeel, but that's a personal preference. So how does this thing taste? Well, not like rum, not like Lillet. It's this wonderful alchemy of flavors that's just so unique, and everybody I've introduced to absolutely loves this. Even if you don't like rum, even if you don't like Lillet, give this a try. You've probably got those ingredients kicking around for the other recipes anyway. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other cocktail recipes from James Bond and Friends.